Did you know September is National Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month? Well, it is. Unfortunately for us, Dr. David Fusco, a neurosurgeon at Barrow Brain and Spine, he is here to help everyone who's experiencing pain in their spine with some important information. Great to see you. Glad to be here. So what are the most common causes of back pain? Well, outside of trauma to the spine, the most common causes of back pain are muscular strain or arthritic changes in the spine, also known as degenerative changes in the spine. And in older people, we also see spine fractures that are a product of low bone density. Right, and in September, of course, we have heightened awareness because right. of this, uh, this month being a National Spinal Cord Awareness Injury Month. But what are the factors that impact our spinal health? Absolutely. So when you think about arthritis or degenerative changes, uh, chronic heavy lifting, particularly with bad technique, can accelerate your arthritis in your spine. Smoking, uh, obesity, particularly in the abdomen, that actually puts a lot of excess stress on the spine. So if you look at the spine over here, these are the vertebrae, and between the vertebrae are these discs here. And if you can imagine, the more weight that's pushing down on the spine, the more pressure exists on these discs, and on these nerves here. And over here is an example of what might happen if you put too much pressure on a disc. You can cause a disc bulge, which is that red spot over there, and all this pressure on one of your nerves, which mm -hmm. can cause back pain and leg pain, a lot of disability. Yeah, people, I mean, it's debilitating for a lot of people. Absolutely. They, they literally are flat on their back. So what can we do to ensure optimal spinal health? Um, I think uh, you can make some healthy lifestyle choices. So weight loss we encourage, certainly. Uh, smoking cessation, uh, particularly for arthritis. Uh, a diet that's you know, adequate or rich in calcium and vitamin D that helps to keep your spine bone strong to minimize your risk of fractures going forward. And as part of your exercise regimen, it's important to add in a technique that'll strengthen your abdominals and obliques because that helps to strengthen the stability of the spine. Yeah, we hear about the core workout all the time. Absolutely. So exercising. So many of us have pulled our back, maybe lifting a child or getting in the car wrong. We've sure. all done it. We've all done those home remedies, right. ice, rest, heat. What are some other things we can do if we're experiencing pain? Um, if you've tried those, you know, you can try anti-inflammatory treatments over the counter. But if you're still having pain at that point, it's probably a good idea to get some imaging of your back and mm -hmm. consult your physician. So what does um, brain and spine do to distinguish itself from all of the other you know medical facilities out there when it comes to spine health right I think it's important to realize that not all spine pain means spine surgery and not all MRIs which have arthritis mean spine surgery so when we look at the whole person at Barrow, we are looking at uh, alternatives to treatment that uh, do not involve surgery. Mm -hmm. um, so we have physical therapy options, core strengthening options, massage, traction, you know, manipulation, um, injection right therapy, all with us. Okay. And if, you know, if you get better with those, well then great, you've avoided surgery. If surgery is necessary, we really have the the techniques and the technology to you know generate great outcomes whether we use you know minimally invasive techniques or sort of the latest instrumentation or hardware if can you can you tell tell us some of those minimally invasive options sure uh, particularly with something like I referenced earlier like the the disc herniation mm -hmm. in fact you can make an incision that's only about an inch long wow. and through a very small tube remove that disc herniation often getting people out of the hospital in the same and day back on their feet all right so barrel brain and spine they are located at 485 South Dobson Road, Suite 101 in Chandler. The number to call to book your appointment today, 480-917-5600, or visit their website, barrelbrainandspine.com.